Hi, my name is Donna Tennant and I've been a life enthusiast customer and client for oh, about five years now. Um, I found life enthusiast because I know Martin Patilla. I've known him since I was 24 years old. He was my first boss in Vancouver when I moved here from Ontario and he's walked me down an aisle when I married, not necessarily to the husband I have now, but uh, has been my mentor and my friend for years and years and years. And so I contacted him when I had a, well, I've always stayed in contact with him, but I sought his wisdom and advice when I had a health crisis. Well, I contacted Martin four and a half years ago when I received uh, what was called a garden variety breast cancer diagnosis. I had stage one um, breast cancer that had not spread. I didn't know it at the time. It had not spread to any lymph nodes. And um, I was told to do surgery, radiation, chemo, and estrogen therapy. And Martin is one of the very few people in this world that I listen to when he says, Donna, smarten up, do your research. You're, you're a wise woman, look into this and see what works for you. And he gave me some really good um, places to do that research. And also I'm a researcher by trade. And so I did my own and I um, came up with an alter alternative solution to that diagnosis. Um, and Life Enthusiast was a big part of that alternative solution. Well, one of the first things I did is I did have the surgery. Um, Looking back now, I probably would have waited on that. And I said no to uh, chemo, radiation, and hormone treatment. The very first thing I did was I had my metabolic testing done and changed my lifestyle diet to um, one that is in line with my metabolic type. I ate. I ate what would be considered, I was a pretty healthy eater. I wasn't somebody who ate a lot of junk food. I didn't, you know, I didn't go to a lot of fast food places. I didn't eat a a lot of processed foods, but it was a pretty North American diet and it was fairly starch based or what's considered lean proteins, um, yogurt, lots of fruits. Um, but it was basically kind of the, the diet that you hear is supposed to be the one that's good for you, which may be for some people, but when I had my metabolic testing done, I'm really a person that should be eating a lot of high fats and a lot of fatty red meats. Um, purine is a food that drives me. I was eating the wrong fruits and vegetables. And so I really just switched and I embraced fat. I, first of all, I went organic as much as I could and I live in the Fraser Valley. So I have lots of opportunity for fresh vegetables and fruits that either they're not organic, they're, um, fit, you can pretty well control and understand where they come from. And I changed to high fat. That was very it was wonderful to embrace, a little challenging because as a woman in this society, you're told not to eat fat. And I started eating a lot of red meat. And if I wasn't eating red meat, I would double up a protein. So if I have an egg, I would have peanut butter with it. And I always made sure to have um, uh, fruits and vegetables with a fat and a protein at the same time. And it instantly altered my, my health. Um, not just with the cancer, but it altered. I just became very, very healthy. I felt better than I ever had. I lost about 23 pounds without trying, which was important because the equivalent of, I, I believe it's if you lose 10 pounds, it is the exact same effect if you go on the um, estrogen medication that they want to after breast cancer. So I knew automatically that I had you know, done better than what that medication's rate was. And, and I had supplements and one of the major supplements that I used is Elagiplex, um, which life enthusiast people can probably speak more to what it does, but it basically keeps, it basically keeps your cells being healthy and regenerating um, healthy. And i I still use it four and a half years later. And in fact, if I'm having a really hard day and I feel super stressed or feel like I've been in a toxic environment, even if it's an emotionally toxic environment, I'll double the dosage, not dosage is the wrong word, but I'll double um, the amount that I use in one day. So I've been doing that for four and a half years, um, altered it a bit this year due to some changes in, in my work and stress level, but kept that as my core. So looking back at all these things, uh, the way I understand it is you had a pretty stressful the last 18 months. Yeah, very and, much. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I would speculate that if, if you had been on the old trajectory, you would probably have a hard time with it. Well, I, 
you know, we, we're not able to look at what would have happened, but I totally agree with you. I had a challenging enough time of it with this trajectory and I was fairly, as much as I could, I was fairly diligent about maintaining the healthy lifestyle that I had set up. Um, I also practice yoga and I exercise regularly and exercise is a, a way for me to release stress. So it's not so much about my physical body, but it's about my mental stress. But over the last year, I've had this interesting three things coming together in that I took on a work project that was actually is the most stressful work project I've ever had in which I became an executive director of an organization that had to go through a complete reorganization and um, was involved in making decisions on who got to keep their job and who didn't um, and th this was an organization that I loved and had deep relationships with and I was having to let go of people that had been my friends and so it was not just a challenge, you know, they experienced a large funding cut from their funders. So it was not just a demanding job, but it was also an emotionally demanding job. It, it touched on all of that. And I, that happened at the exact same time that I went into menopause, or I'm not quite in menopause. It's been about 10 months since I've had a last cycle. So I'm almost formally in menopause, but it just came on like that. It wasn't a, it wasn't a, casual it wasn't a slow moving thing it just was one day it was and one day it wasn't and I also had one of my children go through um, a life-threatening health crisis and was in the hospital for three weeks um, but that crisis started months and months before and even after the hospital there was work to be done in maintaining their health it's a lifelong um, it's a lifelong experience they will have to manage um, and I also do have to say that they've started using Life Enthusiast products to support them as they go through their medical protocol and so far with good results. So um, this is something we've incorporated. So you put those three things together and um, I learned the difference between anxiety and stress. I've, I've struggled with anxiety my whole life, but I've never really, I've been a person that's stressed. I've been pretty resilient to stress um, and more stress than most people can take. And this is the first time I actually felt the stress of my life in um, a very substantial way and dealt with some physical exhaustion and emotional and mental. The emotional and the mental exhaustion I feel are over and the physical one is almost there. But through it, I tried to the best of my ability to keep going with the program. And, you know, I haven't had a cold during it. I, I was able to sometimes barely, but I was able to do what had to be done every day to support my child and to support the work that we do and, and, um, and myself. And so it was, a, it was a struggle, but on the other end of it, and I really do think that all of the foundational work that we did four and a half years ago contributed to it not taking me under. So yes, I highly recommend Life Enthusiast and I highly recommend Martin Batilla's expertise and wisdom in guiding and supporting your health journey. So please do not hesitate to contact Life Enthusiast and Martin Patilla by phone, by email. Um, their response time is amazing and you will feel much better for taking that step for your own personal well-being.